Hi, my name is Michelle Dunn, and I just wanted to share with you a word that the Lord recently gave me and just a revelation that has completely transformed the way that I encounter God and the way that I relate with God. I was recently in a service, and it was a service in a Pentecostal church, and I began to look around in worship, and it seemed like no one was engaging with God. And my heart was just so grieved because Every encounter that I've ever had with God, either in a secret place or corporately, has been where my heart has been fully engaged, and I've gone places that I couldn't have gone before, especially in corporate worship. So as I began to look around and just see in the natural what was going on in this worship service, I just began to ask the Lord, God, what is wrong? What, what is the hindrance that we're encountering here? And the Lord spoke so clearly to me. He said, if you think that I am deaf, dumb, and blind, then you will also become deaf, dumb, and blind. And that word just shot through my spirit. And as a lover and follower of Jesus, there is one thing that I hate most in this world, and that is the religious spirit because the religious spirit wants to rob God's people of encounters with God, of experiencing the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit, of taking and conquering kingdoms and nations the way that we're called to. And the religious spirit wants to keep you dull and senseless in the spirit. And Psalm 115 says this, verses four through eight, their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but do not speak. They have ears, but do not hear. They have noses, but cannot smell. They have hands, but do not feel. They have feet, but cannot walk. And they cannot even utter a sound out of their throat. Those who make them and worship them become like them. And that's exactly what the Lord revealed to me in this service, that the religious spirit wants to dull your spiritual senses so that you cannot encounter the real and living God. And if Jesus did anything in his ministry here on the earth, it was to confront that religious spirit. And we need people in this hour that have been fully awakened to the reality of God to begin to enforce and confront the religious spirit and the religious system. Because it's not just that we go through the motions in dead worship services, or we, we sit through sermons that are fireless. We have to have our spiritual senses in order to encounter God, in order to experience God. If you think about your natural senses, we taste, touch, smell, all of those different senses that God gave us in the natural. We could not encounter the world around us if we did not have those senses. And it's the same way in the spirit. If you're spiritually blind and spiritually deaf, if you spiritually can't feel or hear the Lord, then you will not be able to communicate with him or hear what he's trying to say to you. And so what I wanna encourage you with today is the Holy Spirit is more real than anything that the religious system has tried to give you. That Jesus is more alive than the dead worship services that maybe you've been experiencing. And if I can tell you anything, it's that God will meet you where you are and reawaken those spiritual senses so that you can begin to experience the supernatural and walk in the supernatural. So my prayer for you today is that the Holy Spirit would encounter you and reawaken those senses that the religious system and the religious spirit has tried to rob from you. And I pray that you have fresh encounters with God and be fully awakened to the reality of the living Jesus.